In this chapter, we are going to draw 3D objects. Yes, three-dimensional objects onto 2D planes. Two-dimensional planes. Of course, one 2D drawing is not enough to represent a 3D object. So, we need 2D drawings from different views. For example, this is a car and it is a 3D object. We can represent this 3D object by having its front view, side view, rear view, and top view. And that is what we are going to do in this chapter. First, let's start off with orthogonal projection. When we draw a 3D object on 2D plane, we use orthogonal projection. What is orthogonal projection? Now let's look at this object. It is a triangular prism. In orthogonal projection, we have an object, an observer or viewer, and a plane where the object is projected onto. In orthogonal projection, we imagine that there are light rays that are parallel and that are normal to the plane of projection coming from the viewer. When we say that light ray is normal to the plane, it means that the light rays are making 90 degrees with the plane. Now, when the rays come from the viewer, they are going to leave an image on the plane. This image is produced by the ray that are normal to the plane. It's called orthogonal projection. We can see that the shape of the image matches the edges of the object. Note that there are two edges here. But we only see one edge here, on the object. This is because if you view right from this direction, normal to the plane, you only see one edge. Next, we have this object and we want its orthogonal projection. Now let's draw a projection line from the corner. Here, if we join up the points, we get the octagonal projection. Note that the surface here is a slanting plane. When it is projected to the vertical plane here, the 2D drawing shape on the projection plane is different from the slanting plane. Why is that so? Because this is what we see from this view. But the dimensions or the length of the edges of this rectangle plane on the object and the projection image are the same. So we can see that only the dimensions of the plane on the object that is parallel to the projection plane are the same. How about this one? When we view from this point, what we see is these two parts. For the first rectangle, we will get this. For the second rectangle, we will get another rectangle here. We can also draw normal lines here to see that it really is this case. We draw normal lines from all the corners.
and we get the orthogonal projection. Note that for this edge on the object here, we need to draw a line over here on the orthogonal projection. Next, count the labeling. E and F on the object are E and F here on the drawing. How about this corner or vertex? Well, we see A first and then D. So we label here A slash D. And for this vertex, it is B, C. And for this, it is G, J. And this, H, I.